Hello and welcome. You are watching Property Hotline with me, Kavita Krishnan. Today we are answering all your questions related to buying, selling, and investing in properties from across the country. So if you've used the Diwali weekend to go out and look at real estate and look at properties, you know it's time for you to call in now. Joining us today on the show is Jayashree Kurup, who is the head of research and content at MagicBricks.com. She will help us guide, uh, help us understand the market. And will also guide you to the hot properties that you can afford within your budget. Jashi, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kavita. Jashi, let's get started. We have Hardik Choksi has written in on our website. Now he says that he booked a two BHK apartment in Mahavir Estella by the Damji Shamji Group at Ghodbandar Road on Th in Thane. Now he booked it for end use, but he wants to know whether it's good as an investment. He wants to know about the future prospects of this property uh, with respect to the upcoming metro over here. He wants to know if there's any other upcoming infrastructure project on Ghodbandar Road. So Jayashi, we understand that this project is located very close to Kasar Vadavali, which is in fact going to be uh, the junction uh, for the proposed uh, metro route. How is that going to affect the prospects of uh, Hardik's property? So let's first talk about the metro uh, impact. I think that uh, Mumbai is just going to see the metro impact. The, the uh, metro has impacted property values largely in the Delhi NCR region, where, which is crisscrossed by the metro. And we've seen that wherever the metro comes and the ease of uh, uh, rapid travel goes up, uh, we see prices going up by 10 to 25 percent. So uh, Hardik, to that extent, the metro will have a significant impact. If you are an investor, hold on to it till the metro gets gets moving because that's when you're going to see a big uh, bump up in values of your property. Uh, the second thing is that uh, Godbanda Road itself uh, has has uh, uh, very good prospects and it's it, one, it is in high demand. Two, there are lots of infrastructure projects coming up there. The road widening, uh, uh, you know, the metro link, the rail link and there are many, many other infrastructure projects that will come which has an impact on the Godbanda uh, area and therefore the loca locality is a sound location to invest in and wherever there is end user demand and uh, uh, high speed transport connectivity those are the areas where you are going to see uh, prices going up now as far as the project that you're uh, that you invested in it is a commercial come residential project and it has one and two BHK apartments as well as uh, some amount of commercial happening it is under construction and um, I think the uh, apartments are roughly about 660 to about 1000 square feet and are available between 56 and 66 uh, lakh currently those are the current market prices and the possession in 2017 which means that when the possession happens that's when you see a bump up in values so your first bump up is going to be when the project comes into possession stage so that's when you'll see the second one uh, clearly is when the metro is going to happen because it's very close to the metro junction right so Hardik uh, you got pr practically everything going for a property uh, you have a you have a location which is a vibrant job market there are a lot of jobs coming in into that place uh, there is social infrastructure over here and it is getting added to it uh, by the day and plus like uh, Jashri just pointed out there is metro there's a lot of other infrastructure developments happening the metro is going to be very close to your house so you will see a bump up in uh, prices. My team will put up the prices for uh, Ghodbandar Road and uh, Kasar Vadavli we can in a bit. But this is what you can expect. Uh, one round of bump up in prices uh, when you get possession of the property, which, is, which like you said is 2017. And another round in uh, when once the metro is ready, which is around 10 to 25 percent. That is the appreciation you can expect just on the back of the metro loan. And those are the rates of Ghodbandar Road for you right now. 9,665 rupees per square foot. But do remember, this is an average price and Godbandar Road is a long, long road. So it really depends on where specifically you are buying. And that's Kasar Vadavli, the area that you're looking at. 8,445 rupees uh, per square foot is what prices are averaging at on Kasar Vadavli, uh, at the Kasar Vadavli junction. Moving on, we have Shravan Kumar who's joined us from Bengaluru. Uh, Shravan, how can we help you? Hi, hi, Kavita. Hi. My name is Shravan. Yeah. So I uh, have uh, booked a property in DSR Waterscape mm -hmm. last year in November. Mm -hmm. so they were supposed to give the position by March, mid of mid of 2018. 
now due to some cc reason they are saying that it will be postponed by another it will be postponed by another six months so okay. they are claiming it to be ready by december 2018 so what should I, should i go ahead with this property or should i go to some other i mean sell this offer shavan how much how much have you already paid for this property because you're saying uh, to mid 2018 which is quite some time away how much have you yeah. paid for this i have already paid 6 lakhs 10% of the cost okay you paid 10% of the project cost of the flat cost i'm sorry dsr waterscape should he hold or should he sell and exit at this point in time see kavita in the last one year in this project prices have gone up by almost 20% uh, in the in the locality has gone up, gone up by about 20% so in terms of the locality you know he's entered at a early stage and uh, yes 6 months uh, they have said uh, it is going to be delayed but 6 uh, months in today's market is not such a, a long uh, period and remember that with the rera coming in and rera uh, notification and everything you will see that uh, you know project delays the uh, willful project delays are going to be uh, further and further away you will see that projects will be handed over and here is a project which uh, uh, you know hormavu is a emerging destination whoever is uh, buying into an emerging destination and bought early in the early stages is uh, definitely going to see a bump up in prices and normally a good bump up in the first 5 years now you've uh, invested a year uh, two years ago and you've got another 2 3 years by the time you get possession you'll see uh, see a good bump up in values i would suggest hold on to the property because the uh, i would these are the kind of destinations where investors can actually make money right but jayshree uh, he wants to buy it for end use is what i understand and like you said 6 uh, months is not too much of a delay most people actually take it for granted that if the developer is saying uh, january expect uh, you know to get position yeah. by say july august uh, but uh, having said that uh, you know what are the red flags that shravan should really look out for uh, when he should uh, probably think that okay this is it the probably time now for me to exit from this property when the uh, when the crane stop moving if the work is going on and the uh, developer is asking for money at uh, regular stages or at least uh, keep a watch on the project that the work is moving uh, steadily now um, in 2017 if he was uh, planning to uh, give his uh, give away the project and now it's 2018 i think the project should be well on its way if that is so i would say hold on if you think that there's no movement no progress on the uh, project and if the uh various um, uh approvals that they have to get if those are not in place land title get a little uh, due diligence done if you think all that is in place i would still say hold on to it it's an emerging destination and it is it is close to it's got uh, economic drivers kavita it's got the uh, it's close to the uh, two tech parks and therefore you will see that there is end use demand as well so i would say it will be easier to get, exit that project at a good price if uh, a little further down than at uh, uh, today's value but the work has to be going on steadily okay uh, so shravan that's your that's the verdict uh, hold on to the property a six month delay is not really too much uh, in uh, the current market uh, though you did write in uh, you know raising it at the right time and being concerned about it now here's what you need to do you need to be very very proactive when it comes uh, to the home that you have bought you need to keep visiting that site regularly ask the developer tell him that you would like to uh, visit the construction site and check on the progress of the project uh, also keep asking him uh, what you know what level of construction he's reached what level and keep checking uh another good indicators of course the installments that you will have to pay if you are on a construction link plan if that is coming in the demands are coming in at regular intervals then you can rest assured that work on the project is running but like jayshree said check if the cranes are moving if the cranes stop moving that's when you need to get alarmed but as of now hold on to that project next we have kirti raj uh, he says that he is planning to buy a 2 bhk flat in bhusari colony in khotrud pune Now the developer is quoting 82 lakh rupees for 1,070 square feet 2 BHK flat. Now the position is expected in December 2016. He wants to know whether this is the right price to buy in to this project. What would you say? Go through Pune. Yes, Kat. 
Kavita, in the Bhusari colony itself, we've got a very uh, a number of projects there, and I find that uh, a two BHK of eight eighty to about ten eighty, that's the uh, range of sizes you have, is between seventy four lakh and one point one crore. Now he's uh, talking about a thousand and something square feet, and here you will see that um, uh, he's well within the range, and it, it is it is in the locality range and not the highest part of it. So I think you are in the uh, um, in the uh, correct range. You are in the correct range, Kirti. You can go ahead and buy that particular property. Uh, but before we move on, Jeshri, uh, one question for, to you uh, on behalf of all the viewers of the show. How do you know that the price that you're buying into, uh, you know, a particular property, the price that is being quoted, is probably a, is a fair price, or uh, whether you're being ripped off? How 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 do you uh, essentially measure that? Kavita, I'll tell you what I do when somebody asks me this question. The first thing I do is go to Magic Bricks and put that locality and put the uh, the type of pop, uh, property that I'm looking for. So, so he's asking for a 2 BHK, for instance. I would look for Bhusari Colony, Kothrud, and I would look for 2 BHK. A large number of properties come up and uh, if the prices are listed. Those are asking values. There can be a little bit of negotiation on the uh, asking values. Now, if, if you uh, look at all the properties, you will be able to see what is the price range that is being quoted for these properties. If it is very low, you have to put a question mark and figure out why you are being given some property at such a low rate. Normally, there is some pro problem with that property. If it is very high, maybe the developer has uh, bundled many other uh, extra features onto it, which is why it's very high. And if you are uh, satisfied with what is coming to you, you can go ahead. But if uh, you know that the uh, you know it is in the average range of amenities, and we also give you a list of amenities that come with every project. If it is in the average list of amenities, but you're paying a little more than what the rest of the locality averages, that is when your antenna should go up and you should ask the developer why he's charging you a higher range. The uh, locality, uh, the prices depend on two or three things. One is the, uh, some developers command a premium over the locality pricing. And if you're going with a premium developer, for instance, DLF, ATF, ATS, Hira Nandani, these are developers who command a premium because of the fact that they are the leaders in the ma market. Uh, the second thing is that if there are amenities and significantly different amenities that are being packaged, those also come at a premium. Uh, the third thing could be the locality advantage. It may be very close to the uh, metro station, uh, railway um, station, things, uh, things that are in demand in that city and that could uh, raise the prices. The uh, fourth could be, it could be very close to a commercial destination. The closer you are, not quite on the commercial destination, but close enough uh, good access to a commercial destination that also bumps up the prices. Uh, Jayashree, very quickly, you said uh, that you know you need to know whether you're being offered a very high price over the average or a very low price. Now, if you take the average as say 100, what is a very high price and what is a very low price? See, normally it's not a hundred Kavita, it would be 70 to 100, which would be the locality average. It always works in ranges because property, there's no absolute value of property. So, uh, uh, like I said, if you check what is the uh, locality average, check the range. And if you're very much below the range, if the uh, locality average starts at say 74 and you know that you've been offered something at 65, your antennae should go up. Why would somebody offer you a, a, a property that is well below the locality average? On on the other hand, if the locality average is say uh, up to 100 and somebody offers you something at 120, you know that there is a problem there because normally what happens is there are some th some reasons why uh, you are above the locality average, which could be some developers command a premium because they are uh, they are the market leaders. This could be a DLF, a Shobha, a Prestige, uh, a Hira Nandani. These are the ones who are ma uh, market leaders and therefore their prices go up. Uh, the second thing could be that the location is very close to the commercial center or it's very well located near a, a, a transport link like the metro or the railway station that also pushes up prices the third thing is that if you if you the project is uh, there are lots of amenities uh, and facilities bundled into the project that it takes up the property value and that is another reason why it could be higher now uh, the, it becomes higher because of extras, but you can't strip away anything everything and uh, bring the price down so that's when your antenna should go up Right, that's Property Market 101 for you. Moving on, we have Paresh now who's called in. Paresh, how can we help you? 
So uh, I am searching a property in Kalyan West, mm-hmm. and there are two properties which I have short, shortlisted so far. Okay. One is in near Rosale, uh, that is in Kadakpara, and another one which I have seen, that is uh, in Adarwadi location. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I see the rate, the Adarwadi location is far off from the city. That is out. I mean, that is into the outskirts of the Kalyan city. Okay. So, and uh, that is i mean i'm a bit confused where should i go i'm other way one is the big tower and i'm getting flat on 12th and 13th floor kind of thing and in kadakpada in kadakpada i'm getting it's a small building relatively no amenities uh it's a simple sober building of uh, six uh, six floor where i'm getting this flat on a fifth floor Mm-hmm. Yeah, Parish, can you help price, us? Parish, can you help us with the name of the projects? Yes, uh, the uh, uh, Neeraj uh, Riverdale is the project name in Kadakpara. Okay. That is thousand ten square feet, and the another one which I have seen that is uh, Vaishnavi, Vaishnavi Heights. Vaishnavi Heights in Adharwadi. Adharwadi, you get that? Okay. So Neeraj River will in Khadakpada or uh, Vaishnavi Heights in Adharwadi. What should he choose? A pro- property that is located close to the city or in the outskirts. What would you advise, uh, Jeshree? See, when it's in the outskirts, it would normally be on Gram Sabha land, and if that is so, you will have a problem with the uh, approvals and all the um, facilities coming there and things like that. Water, power. These are these are some of the things that you have to check if you're going into Gram Sabha land. Uh, normally, we do not advise uh, retail consumers to go into those areas because though your prices will be lower, uh, you will have problems of uh, facilities like roads and things like that. Um, both these projects kavita we don't have active listings of these properties so i'm assuming that these are either early stage properties or these are um, not very actively traded uh, because i couldn't get i can tell you the kalyan west and east what are the uh, price ranges so in kalyan west with between 55 and 60 lakh you should be able to get about 800 to about 1100 square feet and kalyan east a 2 bhk of about 800 to about uh, 1100 square feet you should be able to get Uh, you know that is also available within his budget but these specific projects i don't have on magic bricks so i'm afraid i can't help you on the what is the quoted value listed value of those projects either they're very early stage and secondary markets have not become active which is why we don't have those projects but uh, the capital value for kalyan if you look at uh, you know between july uh, to september 2014 when it was in the 4200 to 6400 range it has gone up to 4700 to 7400 so kalyan has started appreciating so kalyan is a good place to look at but you'll have to check out the properties in the local market good place to look at parish but be very very careful when especially if you're buying projects that are in the outskirts of kalyan Uh, you need to understand that Kalyan is still a market that is serviced by the local train network. The closer you are to the station, the easier it is to exit from that particular property, or you need to be very close uh, to the highway. Either one of that is uh, essential. The other thing that you, of course, need to look out like. uh watch out for like uh, jayshree pointed out is the uh, social infrastructure and whether or not it has got those uh, basic utilities like electricity and water supply if it is on gram sabha land if it is outside the kalyan municipal corporation limits then you need to check and double check before you buy into those particular properties those are the price of kalyan west for you 6192 rupees per square foot and kalyan east meanwhile is averaging around 4957 rupees uh for per square foot and it has run up 6% in the last one year we have chirag who's uh, written in a question now through email now he says that he's looked at a project in shapur near kalamgaon in maharashtra now he's planning to invest in an na plot and wants to know about the benefits of investing here how much appreciation is expected in the next 4 to 5 years what are the prevailing rates in this location now uh, as far as i know jashri shapur is a very active uh, secondary home market is it an area where you should be expecting uh, you know appreciation in the next 4 to 5 years
You know, the appreciation is going to be slow. One, for one reason that uh, there is, um, uh, you know, the markets are still slow and the markets have to first uh, stabilize then pick up for you to be able to get a, a significant value uh, bump up in value and there has to be some some driver for that market to go up if it is a uh, you know why would people start buying in Shapur uh, five years down the line they would buy if the economy is stable economy is buoyant and people have uh, disposable surplus that's when they will start buying their second homes and that is what Shapur is well known for now here, let me tell you the average uh, plot values and he's looking at plots, plots uh, five years down the line will, uh, is the demand going to be for plots or apartments? My guess is that actually apartments are going to be the bigger uh, in demand uh, 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 format because uh, uh, people in as a second home, if you buy a plot, you'll have to build on it, you'll have to look after it and all that. And I see that the kind of people who are buying the second homes are the ones who would like to get away for a weekend, go uh, spend the weekend and come back. Now, a plot is, uh, 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 an apartment is much easier than a plot in that uh, case. Uh, I think it, uh, if you're looking at a one BHK, let me also give you what, what you would have to pay if you are looking for a one, two or three BHK. A one BHK, you can get a, a, a 370 to about 700 square feet. You should be able to get between 12 and 19 lakhs. A two BHK of 1000 to about 1500, you should get between 22 and 35 lakh. And a three BHK of 1450 to 3000, between 60 lakh and 1.3 crore. Now. Um, Plot values are, uh, you know, roughly around uh, 4,100 per square foot. That is the kind of rate that is going in uh, the Shahpur Kalamgar area. Um, I think I think you should be able to pick up something, but be very careful and realistic. Will you be able to see a bump up in values in the next five years? It's difficult to predict because our market cycle is still slow. And I think you need to take a slightly uh, longer uh, vision if you are looking at, uh, looking at it as an investor. On to Bengaluru. Next, we have Sunil Kwerkini, who's written in on our website, www.mbnow.in. Now, he says that he booked a 2BHK flat in GM Infinite Daffodils on Hesar Gatta Main Road in Bengaluru for 3,500 rupees per square foot. Now, he wants to know about the future prospects of the project and some information on the developer. Hesar Gatta Main Road, the, what prospects do you see? Um, I think again, Kavita, these are early stage developments, Hesargata Main Road and um, currently the project value is about 4,700 per square foot and it's located on a 100 feet wide road with good metro connectivity through rail, uh, metro and rail. So you should have a, uh, you, it should have good prospects and the USP here is that it has very spacious independent apartments with no common walls. Now. Um, 200, uh, you know, on Hesargatta Road, a 2 BHK of about 900 to 1300 square feet is available between 35 to 60 lakh currently. So uh, I think uh, this is a good, uh, uh, you know, anything that is well connected in Bengaluru, especially connected by the metro, because the metro links are going to grow as you go along. Today you may not see a big difference because uh, it's a very small metro stretch that has uh, opened up in Bengaluru. I think as the metro connectivity grows, you will see the uh, advantages of being near the metro. So I think this is a good a good place to invest. Another question from Bengaluru now, uh, Jayashree. Uh, Sudevan Baiju has written in through email. Now he says he's planning to buy a resale apartment in a project by Shobha in North Bengaluru. The price that is being quoted to him is 80 lakh rupees. He wants more information on this project in terms of future location, future prospects, appreciation and cost. Sadly, he's not given the name of the project. He just says Shobha in North Bengaluru. Uh, what would you say? Do you know of any uh, particular project over there? Okay, I'm told it is Shobha, Shobha Koral. Koral. Is Shobha Koral, Koral is what I'm so told. So probably yes. that's what he's looking at. Yeah, yeah, I'm told it's Shobha Koral. Tell us, yeah. uh, tell us uh, what kind so of Shobha Koral uh, has.
Yeah, it has two and three BHK apartments of about 1100 to about 1650 square feet and uh, available between about 64-65 lakhs to about 90-89 uh, lakhs. Um, now in Jakur, they're, they're ready to move in two BHK. If I look at the um, locality averages, a ready to move in apartment of about 1100 to 1300 square feet is available between uh, 57 and 75 lakh. Uh, and a three BHK of about 1300 to about 1900 is available between 67 and about 1.1 uh, crore. So uh, if it is under construction apartments which are uh, available, they will be ready for possession by 2017 and the locality is well connected to the CBD on one side and um, the airport on the other side via the Hebal Devnahalli uh, expressway. So I think um, you know it should be it should be a good place to stay in and with a shobha at least in terms of quality of construction you don't have to worry so i think uh, he shouldn't be too you know even the social infrastructure in north bengaluru is okay check whether the, where the water is coming from that has been the big problem in this area so check where the water is coming from but you're very close to the lake so maybe you won't have that problem you will have to check where you get your water supply from so good location, good developer, but check where the water is coming from. Those are the minute details that you need to keep an eye out for when you are buying property. With that, we come to the end of this episode of Property Hotline. Jai Shri Kurup, thank you very much for joining us and answering all these questions. And we will help you with answers to all queries related to real estate, whether it is buying, selling and investing, legal issues, home finance or taxes. You can call us, write into us or personally tweet to me. We'll make sure that all your questions are answered Thank you very much for watching Magic Bricks Now. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.